My name is Scott Wade. I work at a nonprofit military organization. Um, I'm married to my beautiful wife, Brenda Wade. Um, I was in the military for 25 years and then retired in the Air Force. When I grew up, there was no religion or faith in my, in my house. I got introduced to God uh, when I was seventh grade. My best friend, um, he went to a church, so I started attending. But then during high school, I started questioning a lot of stuff with the faith. And the church I belonged to was very judgmental in a way. I mean, it's just, they couldn't explain things to me. So it's like, I, whatever. And then when I graduated, went to the service, then faith just went off to the wayside. And then uh, when I met my wife, um, we started uh, attending a Unitarian, Unitarian Universalist church, which is kind of an open faith church. You know, there's Buddhists there, there's humanists, uh, agnostics, atheists. I mean, there's just a different group of people there. It was all about community, even though, you know, you may view a God differently, it's still about community with, with all of us there. And uh, we were big into paganism. We followed the Lakota Indian tribe. We kind of followed their their faith. And then when we moved down to Texas, we went through a Dave Ramsey uh, Financial Peace University. We were going through the videos and just the messages that he, you know, that he, that he talked about with how everything is God's and all, this, all the money is God's. It's not ours. We're just stewards of it. It kind of pulled at, at myself and my wife that we, we need to get back to Christ. With that, we started looking for a church. Uh, my very first experience in North Point, to me, it was amazing and different because this wasn't churchy. And that's what I loved about it. Going through Starting Point with Todd and Stacy Berry, that was amazing. Um, and then getting into a men's group, and then now we're in a small uh, co couples group also. That's really brought a lot of stuff that I was missing, community, just getting to know someone more deeply, you know, helping me get back deeper with the relationship with Jesus. My relationship with my daughter is stronger than ever, and same with my wife. Before we moved down here, we were kind of at a bad point, you know, probably would have been close to divorce maybe. I got into a deep depression, and I kind of just checked out. And I was just like on autopilot. Um, and when we moved down here, it helped. But then when we found North Point and we got back with, I got back with Christ, that's dramatically changed it. There's many people here I'd like to thank. I mean, beginning with Stacy and, and uh, Todd for the starting point, uh, Rusty and Kelly Freezes in our small group, Mick Hooper. And also last but not least, we'd like to thank my wife uh, without Without her sticking with me and getting me to move down here, um, who knows where I would be at. Good morning. For those of you that don't, meet, don't know me, my name is Mick, and I'm in men's group with my friend Scott. Scott, the first time I met you was right here in this very tub. <laughs> you actually came in and volunteered to help me install it. So thank you for that. It, it doesn't leak, so we did a good job. The, the next thing that happens, you were, you were in my community group, my couples group, and then, then you joined the men's group. Both groups have watched you and Brenda grow in your faith, the strengthening of your family, and your love of God grow daily. And now, fast forward a couple years, you're about to lead my men's, my couples group. How cool is that? Everyone that has been a part of groups with you would wanted to be in here to baptize you, but uh, we don't fit. So I'm humbled and honored to be the representative of all the people that love you here at North Point. And we have a question for you. Scott, have you placed your faith and trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins? Yes, I have. Great. Therefore, I want to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Baptized, or buried to walk, or <laughs> buried to walk in, <laughs> sorry, I messed that all up. <laughs> buried in the likeness of his death and raised to walk in the newness of life. 